Oh, there's a free shit on the store. All right, let's see what it is. It's usually some useless ass shit, but we'll see what it is. It's this. Yeah, useless shit. What is going on? It's chill. Coming to you guys with a brand new video for today. I want to talk about Activision because they've been doing some dumb shit lately and I can't just not talk about this. Before I start this video, I just want to say that this video can get my channel copyright, uh, copyright strike. I don't care. I need to say something about this. Activision is trying to silence criticisms or regret it. Now, to the point where I saw Blame Truth. If you don't, if you don't know who Blame Truth is, uh, he is like an OG Call of Duty YouTuber. And he talked about how basically Ashton Williams, the community manager for Infinity Ward, doesn't do her, her job properly because there was no communications between us and Infinity Ward throughout the whole year. And basically his channel got, got a copyright strike and I don't know, there was basically no apparent reason for it. It just said that, um, uh, basically, I don't know if it's Infinity Ward or Activision, but they just copyright strike his channel just because he was criticizing Ashton Williams. Which is honestly really stupid because Ashton has been getting criticism left and right for for the whole year. Well, it was it's all warranted too. It's because Ashton is really not doing her job properly. That's all the video is about. Was um, Blaine Truth's honest opinion on how Ashton's doing bad at her job? And obviously, Infinity Ward or Activision, I don't know which one, they didn't like it. So they thought, well, let's just strike down her channel or his channel. Well, not strike down his channel, but strike down his video. If your channel gets three strikes in a certain amount of time, you're basically, your channel's basically gone. And I, I'm pretty sure you can't make another channel anymore after that. Activision doesn't like getting criticisms to the point where... They're trying to jeopardize people's livelihoods because they don't care. They just don't like criticisms, which is really sad. It feels like at this point, it's censorship, right? It doesn't just feel like censorship. It is censorship at this point. Like, oh, wow. Activision hasn't done, done a good job with, like, talking to us in general. And obviously, our, our complaints are all warranted, but they don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? So they try to silence people. Like, I know Nero Cinema also got a copyright strike, but that was more understandable because he leaked a lot of things or he talked about things that got leaked. So I understand why he why he got uh, the strike, but still, like, it it's still, like, stupid. But at the same time, I'm talking about, like, the one that Blame Truth got. There was 100% zero reason as to why he would have gotten the strike. At this point, it feels like you can't just, you can't give your feedback to the people anymore because they're just gonna strike your channel down and do these people live off youtube if you guys don't know or obviously you guys know but these people eat because of youtube oh fuck he's using the aa12 but yeah these people eat off youtube so the the fact that activision doesn't give a fuck about that and they just strike their channels just because because they want to and just because they hate getting criticisms it's it's just really bad bro and it's really scary to the point where i have to think that they can just do that to all YouTubers who have been uploading Call of Duty videos for years because basically they own Call of Duty. They own all the footage that we use because we play Call of Duty. We play their game basically. So we can't just, at this point, they can just take down all our videos, copyright or all our videos if they want to. And three strikes, we're out. Like, they can do that to basically anyone in this scene. And that's really freaking scary, man. Imagine, let's just say someone like uh, Sprat. Imagine they started hating Sprat for no reason. And he's been uploading Call of Duty videos forever. And they just decided, well, let's just strike down all his videos from the start. Like, that's it. That's it for Sprat. Like, that's just an example, obviously. They're not gonna do that to Sprat. Sprat has never been toxic. But yeah, man, like, um, that's just an example. Let's talk about me. If ever they started to see this video and they hate the fact that I made this video, they can just strike all the Call of Duty videos that I did and that's it for chill life. I'm done, bro. Like, it's just so sad. I understand how uh, people using the strike or the companies using their power to issue copyright strikes if it's warranted, but it's not. Blame Truth just basically said his opinion and he got a strike just for that like there's no freedom of speech at this point because you can just get fucked wow hit marker they can just take out your channel like that whenever they want to if they feel like they don't like you like that's really goddamn scary bro but yeah man um it's just really scary especially for youtubers 
And what sucks is without us YouTubers, well not me, but without YouTubers, Call of Duty won't be as big as it is. I'm not saying that they owe everything to the YouTubers and the content creators, because obviously, I'm not saying that, but at the same time, like without the Call of Duty YouTubers, Call of Duty won't be as big as it is, because it's basically free advertisements for YouTubers to make videos about your game, you know what I'm saying? Basically free advertisements for uh, Activision, we make videos about your game, people get to watch it and see how it's played, and people get to critique it, and people get to decide whether they want to play the game or not, or they want to buy the game or not. It's basically free commercials at this point, and the fact that they're trying to censor that shit, it feels like, dude, you don't appreciate what, what we've done for this game you know what i'm saying and it's just it's just annoying it's sickening activision infinity ward i don't know but like both of them it's just really bad because activision they've been doing really bad with communicating with us this entire year and the fact that this is happening that's just the final nail in the coffin it's just really sad man there might come a time where we can't even make call of duty videos anymore because they can just strike every video that we make and there might come a time where they can just strike down every criticism that that are gonna be made towards them and their game and we can't we can't talk about what needs to be improved about their game anymore because they can just censor all of us whenever they want and that's just really fucking bad it, i think this part is on youtube they need to fix how their copyright system is so they can't be abused they have to do something about this because companies like this are abusing their powers to basically censor people and it's not that good why are you why are you mad at me if you're using the jack 12 you can't talk shit if you're using the jack 12 takes no goddamn skills but yeah man activision at this point they can do the same thing to me i don't care i need to talk i'm not censoring myself just so my channel doesn't get jeopardized no i'm not that way that's not me i'm always keeping it real i'm always keeping it honest i'm not gonna censor myself no matter what i am not sacrificing my integrity for anything and i don't care man that's just not who i am because let me give you guys a, bad, a background, I should have done this from the beginning, but whatever. Ashton Williams is a community manager. She hasn't done anything to communicate with us, except if there's a bug. That's it. This whole year has been filled with Modern Warfare bugs, and it has been filled with Infinity Ward saying, oh, we're fixing it. But when it comes to actual things that can make the Call of Duty experience bad they don't reply because they hate getting criticisms and it just sucks let's let me give something as an example the fact that they make new weapons op for people to get enticed to buy the battle pass is so scummy and then they're gonna nerf it a few months after when it's not on the battle pass anymore they just do that to entice people to spend money they're like oh the new weapons op let me just buy the battle pass real quick so i can basically kill people without taking any skills like the aa12 or the jack 12 whatever you want to call it i'll call it the aa12 like this gun has been op for a while and it's just because it's new you know what i'm saying i know you can get it through challenges but you can buy this they're like oh it's op i don't need to do the challenge i can just buy it from the store and it's gonna be op which is it is especially with the flame shoddy it got nerfed apparently they nerfed it i i'm throwing up the quote unquote sign but i'm not recording the camera but it's still op they didn't fix the fact that its range is basically super far. Um, the fire shotties are still OP. The fact that it, the damage is still super bad. It's just so OP, man. It's OP. But when it came to the SBR, which you can't deny, it didn't need as much of a nerf as the AA-12. They nerfed it like a few days after it got released. Like, it is so OP. I'll, I'll be it. I'm not saying that the SPR didn't need a nerf. It surely did. But the shotgun needed more nerf. And it just sucks, man. Like, they're gonna nerf it after a while. After it's not available in the store anymore. and Or after everyone has basically gotten it. They did the same thing with a AS Val. They took so long to fix that broken weapon. And it's still broken. I know they released other guns like the Fennec and the ISO or whatever you want to call it. Those weapons are no good, but like, still man, I hate the fact that they're doing this shit because they did the same thing for the for BO4, but they released a weapon from the uh, from Black Ops 3. It's an SMG, I forgot what it's called. The VMP, they released the BMP and it's super OP. And now it's still OP, they haven't fixed it. I know that's Treyarch, but I'm talking about Activision in general. And the Daemon in BO4, they buffed the Daemon to the point where it was super strong. And then they, I don't, I think they nerfed it by now, but still man. 
at the time there was no point to, to use other weapons but the Damien. It was really good. It was really good. And now the Havelina, the sniper, the Havelina. Take out the scope, use it as a DMR, and it's OP because it's one shot and there's basically no recoil on that shit. It's really bad. Like, they're trying to make guns that are new OP so people get enticed to buy it. And then, when basically, after a while, when you can assume that almost every people or everyone in the game has it. They can nerf it, so the next weapon that's gonna come out after that is the one that's gonna be OP. Uh, this thing, I love Call of Duty, I've always said that, I love Call of Duty. And I hate the fact that this is how it's being handled. And the fact that we can't even talk about this without thinking that, oh shit, this might cost us our YouTube channel. This might cost us the thing that we've worked at for years just because we're talking about the shit that we think are not right. It's just wrong, man. It's just wrong. And I hate the fact that these people are using their powers to basically silence people so they can have a better reputation to, even though they're not working for those reputations that they're getting. So yeah, man. I hope you guys don't get scared if you're a Call of Duty YouTuber. Speak up. Because if we all speak up and th let's just say they all fuck up our channel, what happens to Call of Duty? It's not going to be as big as... It is now. We make the Call of Duty series big, man. And the fact that they're silencing us, that's a big no-no, bro. So yeah, man, um, I'm not gonna sacrifice my integrity for every anyone or anything at this point. Even if I get big on YouTube and I get sponsorships, if it costs my integrity, I'm not gonna take it. It's the same. It's the same way. I'm not that type of person. If you're that type of person, all power to you. Get that bread. But that's not me. That's That'll never be me. So yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if this video is out of nowhere. I just can't, I can't, I can't let this slide, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Peace out. Have a blessed day, everyone. And yeah, see you guys. And uh, let me know your opinions about this shit.